episode, episode. 345. 345. 345. Oh boy, yesterday was such a tough day. Starting it off with a really challenging 11 mile run with some pretty intense broken tempo intervals and then meetings and work and Evan's interview with a local news broadcast station for their sports program. Traffic was terrible in LA so the schedule was really unpredictable and we were rushing around trying to get Evan to her choral performance in the early evening squeezing in dinner. I mean, you had to skip dinner and eat after the performance, huh? Haven is doing some finishing touches in preparing for her AP US history exam. And she's taking the day off today so that she can be well rested for the test. She's sitting for the test today. But we ended up going to bed pretty late, huh, Evan? last night trying to finish up homework and got up pretty early for a nine mile recovery run today kids are feeling pretty beat up after yesterday's hard work because on tuesday prior to yesterday's workout they had such a tough track session so running an easy nine will help to shake out the legs and get us back to feeling a little bit more normal. As we finish the spring marathon season, a lot of marathoners are planning already for the fall and signing up for New York or Chicago. Summer's awesome because it adds for extra time to put in another period of training or another macro cycle of training where you can level up some aspect of your running game. Today, I'm gonna to talk about two of the best ways to utilize the summer to help improve you as a marathoner. All right, let's go. Speed build is one way to spend time during the summer season. A five to eight week speed macro cycle is an excellent way to level up your marathon game and push your marathon pace or goal marathon pace to another level or layer. We typically focus on speed or VO2 max much closer to race day since we typically plateau out at about five to six weeks of VO2 max interval training. So why is it beneficial to do VO2 max training so far out from race day, between 20 and 30 weeks even? The purpose of the speed macro cycle is to increase your speed at VO2 max. And there are a lot of positive effects from increasing speed at VO2 max. The biggest one is a shift of your graph to the right, which ultimately results in an increase in running economy. And your old marathon pace will feel much easier and it gives you a chance at running at your new marathon pace. In other words, you can run 10, 15, 20 seconds faster than your old marathon pace at the same heart rate. Now that doesn't mean that after a speed build you can go out and run a marathon at the new gold marathon pace. You still will have to develop the endurance and the strength necessary to maintain that speed for 26.2 miles. But your new efficiency, your new higher level of running economy will give you a chance to be able to do those workouts when you do start that marathon build 16 to 18 weeks out from race day. It's best to do your speed build with a focus on 5K because the biggest impact on running economy will be pure speed from speed repetitions and the increase in cardiovascular fitness from VO2 max intervals. To increase running economy, both mechanically and aerobically, you need to feel much more comfortable and at ease at higher running speeds. You can get an idea of how to do a speed build by following along with us on the daily vlog. Cole, Haven, Evan, and I will be working on a speed build to increase our 5K speed and 
we'll do a road race sometime in the summer, probably in July. We look forward to it and appreciate you supporting us along the way. A base build is another way to spend time during the summer season. The purpose of the base build is to establish a weekly volume of distance that you ideally would like to work out at during your marathon build. During the base build, we're focused on running aerobically, maintaining good health, and increasing mileage safely. That means we're not gonna be doing any workouts during the base build. We'll still work on mechanics and running economy through the use of strides, but we're not gonna be taking ourselves to lactate threshold or VO2 max during this base build macro cycle. We can safely increase volume on a monthly basis. For three weeks, we'll maintain the same volume, for example, 30 miles per week for each of those three weeks. And on the fourth week, we'll increase the volume by one mile per number of days that you run. So if you run seven days a week, you can increase your volume by seven miles. And if you run five days per week, you can increase your volume by five miles. During the base build, you can follow a progression and that progression can take you from the slow end of easy pace to the fast end of easy pace. Only continue each progression every week during the three week period when there is no change in the distance volume. On the fourth week, when there is a bump up in the distance, then hold off on the progression and maintain the same paces that you were running in the previous week with lesser volume. Once you graduate to the fastest end of easy pace, then you can creep down into steady state and start moving towards marathon pace and as close to it as you can until the base build is over. This will take you through the whole range of the aerobic zone. And since you're not doing any fast running, it's not likely that your heart rate will improve during this period, but that's okay. Just run to RPE, stay comfortable so that you can speak whole sentences during the run. And the base build is going to be a grind. It's more of a mental grind than anything. So stay focused, stay motivated, join some group runs, change up the scenery, mix up some trail running with some road running, join a club on Strava, do whatever you can to stay consistent on your daily runs or the number of runs that you have committed to according to your schedule. Hey, so spend the summer developing some speed and resulting higher running economy or build up some distance volume so that you can do your marathon training block with a larger volume of distance per week or do both and level up your marathon game. Thanks so much to our Patreon team. We really can't do it without you. Love you so much. Join me on Strava to find out how we do our speed build and follow All Heart on Instagram to get your daily dose of running motivation. Please like this video and help get it out to as many people as possible. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps out our channel a ton. I'll see you on KTLA next week. Thanks for coming with me all the way to the end of this talk about how to best spend your summer to level up your marathon game. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye now. <laughs>